How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boy Lai Hobby Time. This week I'm going to be building Jabba's Palace, or I guess as of the end of the second season of The Mandalorian, Boba Fett's Palace. I was trying to decide what scale to build this at, and I knew I wanted it on this wooden base. So given the amount of terrain surrounding the palace that I wanted to include, came out to about 1 to 700 scale. So I went over to the iPad, got on Shaper 3D, designed each of the buildings, and then I printed them out on my resin 3D printer. I had to reprint the main building's roof. It printed a little bit wonky the first time. Luckily I did print it in two pieces, so didn't have to print the entire thing again. Then I used a pencil to mark out on the styrofoam where the hill was going to be. Use the hot wire cutter to carve that out. Then I switched to a different tip on the hot wire cutter, began carving the rocks, making sure to include that pathway up to the palace for the road. Carved out the rocks to make them look as natural as possible. I also used the offcut to build up the hills on the back of the diorama. Originally I had wanted to have light coming from the inside of the building so I drilled some holes for that but the windows were way too small so I ended up not doing that in the end. I mixed up a sealer using some plaster, mod podge, paint, and water. This was a nice consistency to be able to brush on but it, when it dried it was nice and hard protects the styrofoam and it also had a nice texture to it that I felt complemented the rocky, dry nature of the terrain. While that was drying I moved on to painting the buildings. I gave them a coat of primer and then once that was dry I gave them a base coat with the airbrush. I then moved on to painting some of the details on the buildings. This was done with mostly different colors of washes. Add some grime and weathering. Fun fact, unlike the Alamo, Jabba's palace has a basement. And that's actually where the throne room is. It's not in this big grand structure above ground like you'd think. He chooses to spend his time underground cooler and less dry. Then applied washes to the sides of the rocks everywhere where the dust would not have settled as heavily. And I applied some pigment to the top to make it a little bit more dusty. And then I glued everything in place. Lastly, I painted the sides of the diorama black, and I called it good.
that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great week, everyone. I will see you next time.